What's up my fellow battlers, Rilo Ren here, and today we're going to be going a Fusion Cup tournament that I did this weekend. Now, this one, uh, I've never been to this community in specifics, but I have seen some of the people here before. Um, I did change up my team from the last video a little bit, but let's go over that. So, I have Hedwig, my Noctowl, Hokage, Shiftry, Something Fishy, my Wishcash, Colin, my Empoleon, Bronzong, for whom, and Hope, my Escavalier. Yeah, um, Empoleon was a last minute addition. I was, <laughs> if you haven't seen my last video with, uh, Fusion Cup, the thingy will be here, um, I had a problem with Charizard, and so Empoleon takes care of that problem, so I had to say goodbye to Wiggly. Anyway, let's cut the chit chat and get straight to the battles. My first opponent is going to be Birdwatcher Hawk. Uh, you know, he's a really cool guy. Um, he and I don't really face that often, but um, yeah, let's check out his team. He has Probopass, Venusaur, Charizard, Swampert, Altaria, and Frostlass. And I'm looking at his team, and I'm like, okay, I think maybe Hedwig will be a good lead. So let's see how I do. All right. Mr. Hawk, what you got? So he starts off with Altaria, and I'm like, shucks, this is not a good matchup. So I'm going to go straight into the Wish Cash. And he goes into Propopass. He said that this was a mistake. He didn't mean to switch into it, but, you know, um... You do what you gotta do. Um, sometimes, you know, you can recover from mistakes like that. Um, he brings in Frostlass, and I'm like, okay. Um, both my Pokemon in the back are not very effective against Frostlass, so I need to kill this thing right now. <laughs> Alright, and so I'm gonna shield this Shadow Ball. Nice. And then I'm going for the Mud Bomb again. Will he shield it, or will he take it? He takes it. Great. So I'm just trying to go straight for that mud bomb again, trying to take it out. And is he going to let it go down? He almost says he's able to get one more charge move off, and I feel confident letting it go because um, one confusion takes it out. He has one shield, and it's my uh, Bronzong versus Altaria. We know the one shield scenario for this. Uh, I'm going to throw the first Shy Shock, and then um, he's going to throw... A Dragon Pulse. There it is, yes. And then, you know, I'm just trying to get to that second Psy Shock to burn his last shield. Um, <laughs> and uh, I do so. And is... Am I going to make it? Uh-oh. Will this Dragon Pulse kill? It does not. So I'm able to faint it down with one more Confusion. Alright. And for the second match... I bring in Napoleon, he starts with Frostless, I predicted it right, and so here I go with the waterfalls, chunking it down, and uh, here comes an attack, I decide I'm going to take it no matter what it is, it's an avalanche, I called it right, and I go straight for that hydro cannon, um, this is the first time I'm ever using Empoleon too, and I'm impressed. <laughs> Alright, in comes this uh, Venusaur, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do what damage I can, because I have two counters in the back, and... You know, uh, Empoleon served, served me well. And, you know, it's going to get rid of some of the energy he has. Great. And then um, I bring in... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I did not bring uh, Hedwig into this. So uh, right now we have Wishcash against his Swampert. Not the best matchup, but, I mean, I have Shield, so I have that in my favor. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to take this Earthquake. Nice. And I'm going to go for this Mud Bomb. I know that, you know, I just have to invest both my shields into this Wish Cash um, because I know that Bronzong can beat his Venusaur no matter what. All right, there goes an Earthquake, and I'm going to get off this Mud Bomb. And is he going to shield it? He does not. Great, and I try and switch out, but uh, yeah, wasn't quick enough. He had the Frenzy Plant ready, but at this point, it doesn't matter. I have the Shy Shock pretty much ready, and that's going to be GG's, and that's going to be... Round one in my favor. Nice. Alright, but we start off the second one. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bring Hope back. I want to play with her. And she he, he uses Charizard. <laughs> I was laughing of how bad I got the prediction. So I go straight for Blizzard. Just thinking uh, he's going to want to save his shields. And I got it right. Nice. 
I turn the tide a little bit, and then I'm going to go straight mud bombs, trying to take out this frost lass. Um, all right, there goes one, and number two. Now, I shield this because I'm like, okay, I might need wish cash for his uh, Charizard in the back. So I farm up a little bit, and then I get off the mud bomb, and... He shields, and then I switch into a Scavalier because I like this matchup a little better. Here comes Charizard, and I was like, all right, you're going to get a, a little Aerial Ace. Um, it doesn't do much, but, um, you know, it takes it down low to half, and then, all right, here comes his, what I thought was going to be a Blast Burn. It was actually a Dragon Claw, and I'm like, all right, trying to hit the Blizzard. He's going to get another move off. Thankfully, it was a Dragon Claw, and I'm able to get the Blizzard off. And now I'm wondering, okay, can I beat what's in the back? And his last Pokemon is, oh yeah, Frostlass. And uh, it's not looking good because I have my <laughs> Bronzong. And um, this is going to be a Shadow Ball because I have no shields. And it lives just by Smidget, but I'm able to get to the Psy Shock. And I'm able to sweep. GG's, man. GG's. Okay, so my next opponent is going to be Alpha Solo Player. This is the first time I'm ever facing him. He's actually the person running this tournament. And he's going to bring Polyrath, Noctowl, Marowak, Wishcast, Shiftry, and Bronzong. And I'm like, okay, okay. I, I see where you're going with this. And let's see how I do against him. I'm going to start off with Shiftry because I'm like, okay. Um, he's going to start with Polyrath. Nice. Uh, you know, I'm going to try and burn all his shields. So that way, uh, you know, I have advantage. Um, I just have to be careful with what I block with uh, this Polyrath. I decide to block it, and it's a dynamic punch. I got it right. And then he switched out, and uh, I should have held my energy, but it's okay. Um, I bring in Bronzong, and I'm like, all right, this is good. Yeah, I can take even a Nightshade, which is probably what's coming my way right now. Yep. And I'm like, all right, at this point, I think, uh, just try and, like, burn one shield. That way he's out. Uh, oh, he takes it. And uh, that, I, I'll accept that, too. <laughs> and so he brings in his Alolan Marowak, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get some damage off at least. Um, there's no way I could have gone to that uh, Bulldoze. Or, yeah, I possibly could have, but um, I'd rather, you know, have not risked it. And, you know, I have in Noctowl now, so it can take any attacks, and uh, I'm not scared of this uh, this Polyrath either. I have energy that I'm going to dish out, and yeah, um, I can take a Dynamic Punch, I can take an Ice Punch, um, I'm going to shield the first one just in case, and then I get to that Sky Attack, but he gets to his move first, and it's going to be Dynamic Punch, does a less than favorable chunk, but I got to that Sky Attack, there goes Polyrath. And then, all right, can I farm it down? Can I farm it down? No, he's going to get a charge move off. So, do I live it just by smidget? Ah, I faint. And then in comes Shiftry with one Leaf Blade. is going to take down this fire type. GG's. All right, next match, I was like, all right, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to lead with my Bronzong. And he brings Shiftry. Arr. <laughs> so I switch into my Shiftry, um, he has like energy advantage over me, but I'm like, okay, my Shiftry Hokage has pretty good IVs, and um, um, this scenario, I'm like, alright, I'm going to mirror kind of what he does a little bit, there goes Leaf Blade number one, and I go for my Leaf Blade, I'm like, alright, he has more energy, I gotta shield this, and then I'm going to go for Leaf Blade, and let's see how much it does, is he going to shield it? He probably will, um, as he does, and I'm like, okay, can I get to another one? I don't want to give up my shield, so I decide to take this. And it lives on a sliver. And then I go for mine. And he's like, okay, maybe if my Shifri lived, maybe his would. But it didn't. <laughs> nice. And then I got pretty good switch advantage. And so, all right. Um, I just have to make sure I block the... Well, I can block the Blizzard, but it can live it. I'm just, like, trying to figure out, because I don't know what he has in the back. Um, here comes a move. I'm thinking it's a Mud Bomb, as it was. I'm like, okay, um, should I go for the shield? I do not, and it's a Blizzard. Not the most desi desirable result, um, if I'm being perfectly honest, because after this Wish Cash, it's Marowak. I have a Bronzong in the back. He has a shield. Y you know, he. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to get to the, like, Bulldoze and him not shield it. 
So here comes Bone Club. Uh, I go for the fake out Psy Shock because he's going to shield no matter what. And maybe by some miracle I can get to another. No. No. All right, so the last match, it kind of started right in the middle of it. That's my bad. I go straight for the Sky Attack in this uh, Noctowl Mirror match, and then I swap into Bronzong. Um, I know this is kind of a disadvantage, but I also need my Noctowl alive. He goes into Shifri, and I'm like, I'm just going to let come what may. I'm going to go Hail Mary, go straight for the Bulldoze. Does a decent enough chunk for what I want to do. And then he is going to do a Leaf Blade. Yep. And I live a little bit, and I'm able to get to Wish Shy Shock doing just a little bit more chip damage. Um, but he shields it, which I'm I'm fine with, you know, take one shield. And so I have Hokage in the back, and I bring back my Knock Towel. And I'm going to take the first attack. No, I shield it. Um, it's a foul play. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to waste both my shields because of that. W w because I'm afraid he has something in the back, you know, that can one-shot something. And he brings in his knock towel. I'm like, all right, great. I'm going to go for the sky attack. I already have it ready. And it knocks it out. And what does he have? He has that Alolan Marowak. And I'm like, at this point, it's GG's. Uh, already got one sky attack off. Um, he has one shield left. But I'm like, all right, I think I can win this. Um, I just have to be careful. Um, I decide to take this bone club. And I'm not able to get to that sky attack, but I have shift free in the back, and I'm thinking, all right, I just gotta feign it down with snarl. So I shield this. It's a shadow ball, and can I feign it down before another? Yeah, I do, and that's GG's. So my next opponent is going to be Daff Lord. He and I we face each other every so often in cups. I was actually his first ever opponent um, in a tournament back in the days of Kingdom, and uh, he beat me. <laughs> um, I wasn't very good back then. Um, I've improved so much now, but anywho, um, he's going to bring Marowak, Wishcash, Frostlass, Propopass, Shiftry, and Noctowl. And I'm like, okay, you know, I think, um, I think Empoleon is going to be my safest lead. So that's exactly what I'm going to lead as, and let's see how we do. Mr. Daft. Lord. All right, so I have Colin out first, and he has his uh, Frostlass, and uh, I don't know how I'm forgetting the name. It's right there. He's going to get off his move first, and I'm going to take it. It's a Shadow Ball. That does not do a good amount. Um, well, good, not good for me. I get off that one Hydro Cannon. I'm like, can I make it to another in time? Um, I'm going to shield this because it can win. It can win. I, feel, I still believe, and I'm going to get this Hydro Cannon off. Is he going to block it? Is he going to take it? He decides to take it. All right, good, because now I have a switch advantage, and it did its job. And then, all right, so I have my Hedwig versus his Noctowl, and I'm like, it's not the best scenario because he has energy advantage, but at the same time, it's playable, and I can still do some stuff with Shiftry in the back. So, you know, Sky Attack versus Sky Attack, and I decide, hmm... I'm going to shield this, and then I'm going to go for my sky attack. Um, am I able to take it out with this? Am I going to burn his shield? He decides to let the shield go. Um, it appears mine has better IVs, which is funny because uh, Hedwig does not have the best IVs. I bring in Shiftry, and he swaps into his uh, wish cache, not knowing what I had. It was a blind swap. There goes Shiftry. And here goes Noctowl. I get to that Leaf Blade, and... Whoosh! GG's. GG's. All right, and for the next match, I'm going to swap the flow a little bit. I'm going to lead with Shiftry, see if I can burn some of his shields at the same time. All right, um, brings back Frostlass, and I'm like, okay, this is playable. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go... I'm not going to bait. I'm going to go straight foul plays, seeing if I can catch him off guard. I take one shield. I'm going to shield this, and then I'm going to... Come on. Yeah, Avalanche. And then I'm going to go for another foul play. He's either going to take it or he's going to lose his shield. Let's see what he opts for. He takes it. Ouch. All right. And in comes his Noctowl. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go for another foul play. Why not? <laughs> and does he take it? Uh, he does. It does. It brings him down to the yellow. Nice. Where I want him. And then I bring in Colin. And uh, he's doing a great job so far. 
Um, he's gonna able to take this Sky Attack, and he swaps out into Shifri, and I'm like, I have the perfect Pokemon, and I swap right on the Leaf Blade. Nice. There we go. And then I'm going to get to that Sky Attack. He's not going to want to shift free in much. He is farming up a little bit of energy, maybe to get off multiple uh, attacks. Um, here comes number one, and I decide to take the first one. All right, foul play. And here comes another one, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to shield this because I know that uh, Colin can take care of his Noctowl on the back no matter what. And I'm able to get off this Sky Attack against his Noctowl. Miss a few bubbles, but it's... It's a flying move. It's tough. And then I go straight for the Hydro Cannon. He gets off a charge move, and I know I can survive it. Boom. And then I go for the Hydro Cannon, and that gets me round number three. But, you know, we always do three rounds, or we try and do three rounds on this channel. Um, and he was like, yeah, let's do it. And I lead with um, Colin again, and I got it. It's, it's Marowak. He switches into Noctowl, and I'm like, okay, this is still favorable for me because I have uh, Hedwig in the back. For that, um, for that, for his Marowak, and then what's going? This going to be? I'm just going to take it. Sky attack, boom! And he's switch lock. There's nothing you can really do at this point. I'm farming it down, so I have energy against whatever he decides to bring in. And all right, there it goes. And then I'm going to go hydro cannon on what comes in. It is that Alolan Marowak. Is he going to use the shield? He decides to. All right, I'm cool with that. And then in comes my Noctowl. And he decides to swap into Shifri, because honestly, there's not a lot he can do here. Um, he decides to take it, and then uh, I believe at this point, there was actually a Gyarados spawn, because this was happening during the, um, the Chinese New Year event, and we're both kind of walking towards that. He knows I kind of won this already, so we're just kind of like half paying attention, and uh, he's going to get off a charge attack, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my shield just in case. And then I'm going to go for the sky attack. And it's going to land. Um, does it knock out? No. And then he, and then I'm able to feign him down. And that's GG's. For my fourth match, I'm going up against Lugia Hunter 7. Um, we've known each other, or we've been in the same tournament since uh, Mirror Cup. And we have never faced each other. This is the first time we are actually battling, and he's going to be bringing he's going to be bringing Noctowl, Swampert, Shifri, Empoleon, Sandslash, and Marowak. And I'm like, okay, we have. Um, he was saying we kind of have the same kind of like core-ish. Um, uh, but you know, he opted for Swampert while I have this. Let's see how we do. So I go with um, Empoleon against his Noctowl. I got the lead. Nice. And then I'm like, okay gonna race to this hydro cannon and uh he swapped and i was wondering whether or not to let this go through i decide to because it's gonna have advantage and i burn a shield nice so in comes noctowl with shield advantage yeah i'm gonna let the first hydro cannon go through and i'm gonna race to that sky attack i decide to shield the second hydro cannon um and then you know do i make it to the sky attack i do so it's probably gonna take out his last shield which is going to be great um and can i uh, make it. Um, can I survive? I do. And I'm about to... Ah, oh, he swi switches out. Crap. And then here goes my uh, sky attack, and I decide uh, it just faints. But I'm okay with it, because um, Empoleon, Colin, is going to do wonders. It was a bone club. Nice. And then uh, I'm am I able to faint it down? I do. And so I have a hydro cannon for whatever he wants to bring in. And it's that knock towel. Okay, okay, there we go, and then I'm farming, uh, and then here comes one more attack, and this was risky, Sky Attack, and I was like, maybe you can faint, or maybe, ooh, so I have Escavalier, no shields, um, Hydro Cannon does too much, I'm able to faint it down, but can I get to the Aerial Ace before he gets the Sky Attack? I do, and that's gonna be, <sighs> GG's, that was too close, too close. All right, for our next match, I'm going to start with Shifri, and he starts off with Swampert. I was like, he's probably going to start off with Swampert. And so I go for the Leaf Blade, and I get it on his uh, Shifri because he timed it just right. I'm like, I'm okay with that. At least I have some energy down. He's not going to get off too many foul plays. So I decide to take the first attack. It's a foul play, as I predicted. And I'm trying to save up energy. I'm going to shield this. So, uh, you know, 
so it actually survives, and I can use these sky attacks. Um, so he brings in Empoleon, the shiny one, and there goes sky attack number one, and I'm able to get to another one, and it's doing pretty solid damage. Um, he's already in the yellow, and he's not looking uh, too good. I got him into the red. Wow. And then I bring in my Empoleon, knowing he can take whatever moves he wants to use. It's a Hydro Cannon. I'm okay with that. I bring back my Shiftry. Um, and I'm just going to take this first one. And then here goes the Leaf Blade. Is he going to shield it? Or is he going to take it? He decides to shield it. Can I get to another Leaf Blade? I'm like, err, this is not good. I decide to shield. Can I get to the second Leaf Blade? Can I? Can I? Can I? I do. And... It's going to knock it out, obviously. Oh, wait, he had another shield. Whoopsie! <laughs> so, yeah, Hydro Cannon. And then here comes my Empoleon, and then he swaps, thinking I was going to let out the energy, and I'm like, that's perfect, because I can just get off this Hydro Cannon, and boom. GG's. GG's. Also, this is after the uh, update where, you know, things happen automatically after you uh, want to switch, which I appreciate. All right, so he started off with um, Swampert again. I started out with my Empoleon. So I swap into uh, my Noctowl, Hedwig, and then I go for the Sky Attack. And he blocks it. Great. And then I decided to shield this one. Um, I'm trying to, you know... I might have won the round, but I always, like, try my hardest, no matter what. And then here goes the other sky attack, and then he takes it, because, um, he has advantage on health. And then I decide, do I let my Noctowl go? I'm like, no. And then, since the timer already went out, I'm gonna go into my, uh, I'm gonna go into Colin. I know I can take this attack, it doesn't matter, I don't have shields. And then, you know, I'm just farming up farming up good. I have energy to go. And I'm like, ah, oh, I should have maybe faked and waited for the, <laughs> um, for the blizzard. Um, but no, yeah, I mean, like I, you know, it did its job. And so I bring in my, uh, Noctowl and I'm going to get off the sky attack. And he decides to take it, saving his last shield. And I'm like, all right, this is all on Hokage. I take the first hydro cannon and then I get to the first Leaf Blade. He's obviously going to shield it. It's his last Pokemon. Um, and then, uh, is he going to get to another one? Is it going to faint? Is it going to faint my Shifri? It doesn't. And I'm able to get to the next Leaf Blade. And this wasn't this wasn't a flex. He, uh, you know, reached out for, uh, you know, Bro Fist. And I'm like, I wanted, it was going to win. I was going to win no matter what. So I was like, you know, Bro Fist. Okay, so this is my last match. I'm undefeated, and so is R6 Racing R6. Now, this guy, he's pretty tough. He does multiple tournaments a month. We're talking, you know, getting into the double digits. And he's going to bring Shiftry, Frostlass, Polyrath, Bronzong, Swampert, and Noctowl. And I'm like, all right, I got this. I got this. But do I actually got it? We have to see. All right, so I'm going in, and I'm going to lead my shiftery. He brings in Polyrath. Poly, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and burn as many shields as I can, and I'm going to let the first Leaf Blade go through, and he decides to shield it. And I debated, was this going to be a dynamic punch or not? I decide to shield. It was a nice punch, and I'm like, okay, can I at least get the second Leaf Blade off? I don't, and I'm like... I really want to save my shield. It's a dynamic punch. That could have been a mistake, but um, you'll see. Uh, you know, it could potentially work out in my favor. Uh, here comes another dynamic punch. I get the sky attack off on not necessarily the wrong thing, but, you know, it has damage down. And I'm going to go straight for Blizzard. And why I'm going to do that is because he's going to think I want to burn his shields. Because that's how I started out playing. And so I'm going to use this Blizzard. And I either take out the last shield or kill it. I kill it. Nice. And so in comes a shiftry, and I'm like, okay. Um, I guess I was trying to at least make it up to a blizzard. Um, that was not the best decision. And so I have um, Skarmory out here. And I'm oh, not Skarmory. Noctowl. And then there goes the foul play number one. And I have to get off this uh, sky, um, sky attack. He decides to shield and swap out. 
and I'm not sure if an ice punch will kill. It doesn't. But I get to that sky attack knowing that, you know, this is a lost match, but we always go down sw swinging on this channel, and then one snarl does it. All right. And so we go into our next match. Can I get the tiebreaker? All right, I got the lead. Great. And so I'm going to farm up. I'm expecting him to swap out at any moment. And he's not swapping out. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go straight for the um, Psy Shock. And he takes it. And then here comes an attack. I know I can take it no matter what it is. It's the Nightshade. And he is... And then I'm like, all right, can I get to another Psy Shock? Um... He's going to get off a move first. I decide to shield it. It's a sky attack. Um, not the best thing. He, swips, he switches right at the right time. There goes the side shock. He decides to shield it. I'm like, er, okay, I kind of need my, uh, I, I kind of want my um, bronze on alive. So I switch in to my knock towel. Here goes the sky attack. And uh, yeah, he decides to shield it. And then I'm like, okay, this might have been a mistake. I shield. It was an ice punch. I could have lived it. And then I'm going to get off this sky attack, and it's going to knock out the polyrath. What's he have? He has that frost last. And I'm like, er, there's no way. I get off the sky attack on the wrong thing. Er. And then in the back, I have, <laughs> I have bronze on, but I wasn't able to make it to the psy shock in time. There goes the Shadow Ball, boom, and I'm like, okay, maybe Hope can do something. Um, it's going, it's able to live this Shadow Ball, but I didn't think I was going to make it to Drill Run in time. Looking back, I could have, potentially. Um, there goes the Aerial Lace, and I get it down pretty low, and then in comes Noctowl to an Avalanche. And that's going to be GG. Um, fun fact about R6, he was sweeping everyone um, up to this point. So I was, I'm like, all right, I'm at least going to ruin his perfect record. So um, I lost the lead, and then I switch in into my Bronzong. Not the smartest play. And then I go for the Psy Shock, seeing if I can do a little bit of damage. He decides to shield, and I'm like, all right, I at least have shield advantage. I bring in my um, Empoleon, and... Am I going to survive this Shadow Ball? I do. Uh, this is not looking too good. <laughs> and I get off this uh, Hydro Cannon, and I'm like, all right, my Switch Clock is finally ready. I have Shield Advantage. Um, I don't have a lot of other advantages. Um, there goes the Dynamic Punch. And I'm like, all right, time to use the Sky Attack. Um, and I'm fearing for the worst, because in the back, he still has that Frost Lass, and I'm like, err, um... He's going to get off an avalanche, and I'm like, I'm going to shield it because I'm at least taking a shield down with me. He, There goes the sky attack, and uh, he shields it, and I'm like, oh, he, sh he switches out. Great. So I'm going to go for my sky attack, hoping to do a pretty good amount of damage, and it does. All right, I got him into the yellow at least, and he is going to use his sky attack. All right, I'm able to get to my sky attack. And I'm like, okay, there could be a chance I can win this. And then I swap and to get some energy on Colin. And his Frost Last was low enough where I was able to kill it. Yeah, that was my tournament. I came in second place. Really nice. Congratulations, R6, for a pretty, pretty good run um, for Fusion Cup. And yeah, um, it was a great, great experience. Uh, it was a lot of tough battles. And... Yeah, it was so much fun. And I'm looking forward to uh, Rose Cup. Um, I know I haven't done a lot of videos of it yet, but that's because a lot of people were focused on uh, the big tournament we had um, Saturday. I wasn't able to go, but yeah, so more Rose Cup will come. And then my Ghost Stadium um, Fusion Cup will be coming out sometime this week. Well, it has to because we have to finish this week. Anywho, that's it for now. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more PvP content. And remember to keep fighting strong.